I showed you this before. This is the prototype for my Canon. And I'm just looking at it now to see uh, exactly what I need for the one in the castle. So, yeah, this is it. Um, what it does is I put the uh, the old TNT carts down there. And I activate uh, 10 is the number, I think. So I can move the, the front bit like that to change the power. And I can move the whole thing like that. And then this button fires it. So if I shoot, press that, it fires it. There we go. One's got more power than the other. You can see where they're landing, obviously. So this is what I want to build. Now, what I need to build this, I've got most of the bits, I think. Um, I just came back to look to see if I'd forgotten anything. So I've got tracks, frames, motors, wire, solar panels, battery boxes, more frames, wireless stuff, redstone torches, covers, and panels. Now, I've picked ruby and emerald because they're very different colors and it's easy to see and because they they do very different things covers and panels here I've just used iron and stone um, so I think I'm pretty much sorted um, so let's go back to the castle and start um, our work on the cannon yeah alright we're back to the castle oh, looks like my lawn ornament escaped never mind Let's turn off map moss so that wind stops. So this is where we want to build the cannon. Where this uh, telescope is, I think. I'll just check this room to see um, if there's much room inside the room of the telescope. Let's uh, the force field uh, down here. So this is the telescope room. There's, oh, this whole up, upper area is fine. Um, plenty of room. Now we need two tracks going through here, so we need to be slightly thicker. So I'm just going to basically just blow this shit up. Blow it all up. Just get rid of it all. Why isn't this working? Maybe it only works on rock. Um, it's a shame to get rid of the Christmas decorations so early, but maybe I can put some more back later. So I'm just going to take out this whole telescope, I think, and uh, build it again later. So we need to chop on all these wood. Oh, it's taking forever. Maybe we could burn it. <laughs> oh, a laser would be good. Ah, there we go. Let's put down an explosive. This is how you mine. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um. One more. Boom. Okay, perfect. A nice big hole in our roof now. Let's just take out all these little extra bits. Cool. Now, what I thought about, what I didn't think about, was what we're going to build the cannon out of. Obviously it's going to be frames at first, but after that I need to cover it with cooler looking things. Maybe iron blocks to make it kind of a big metal gun. That might be quite cool. Just take the rest of this out. And these side bits. I don't think I'll rebuild it as a telescope actually. I think I might rebuild it as a gun. A big metal gun. That might look cooler. We'll see what I feel like at the time. So after we've got rid of all this, we need to definitely make sure we've got enough room for the cannon. We do, I think. Um, so let's think about this. We want it about this level. Let's just use wood for the time being, just to make sure everything's good. So we'll just build up a little a platform for it here. Um, obviously we're going to need to get solar power in there somewhere. So we need some access to the sun. Is this going? Is this good? I think this is okay. Now we have the rails come in from the uh, reactor generator rail majigger 
which makes us the TNT carts. Um, but we'll ignore that link for now. We can link them up later once we've got both sections working properly. Let's just get some. Uh... All right, so the rails will come in here, and there'll be two because it's double barreled cannon. So now the first thing is we want everything to move left and right and so we want it slightly off the um, the roof so it can actually move further so I think roughly here is about right so we'll put the we'll just destroy all this stairy bits get rid of these little blocks oh my god what a nightmare <laughs> so many little blocks it took me so long to build this this is insane um, now we've got a good little. What can I? Can I just put some things away for now, while I work? Um, turn off this sorting system. Just use this chest <laughs> to hold the rails. Good. So, build this up same level okay so motors will go here actually one off again I think I may have run out of wood this will change later so here and maybe there and let's just actually move this one to there okay and we have to flip these up so they're facing to the top so the shift key I think you press the shift key there we go so they want this one going that way and this one going that way and we put the frames on top That. Three other side, that's about right. The more either side I put, the basically the more it can move left and right. And yeah. So this is the basic thing. Now we need to add the um solar panel, the battery box and the wires okay so this is to power the motors and to do that I'm going to have to get some power from somewhere and where would that be um let me see Let's cut some more of the roof I think Is this going to be good? It looks about right. If we put them here. Doesn't like sitting on little blocks. So I'll just put this as normal wood. Well, that could work. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. A lot of mess here. Why can't I pick half this stuff up? It doesn't make sense. I've got room. Never mind. Um, right, now I need proper blocks to go there. Proper wooden blocks. Let's just go and condense um, Condense a bunch of those down. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Perfect. Good. Put them in there, we'll screw it. And there we go. So, put this uh, here. And that gives us a perfect place to put the solar panels. And the battery box. And another battery box. And we'll do the same this side. Can't 
have too many solar panels really. Not to stay powered. Oh, God. <laughs> what a disaster. These little blocks. Okay. Uh, I'll fix that later. So these should be gaining power, yes. What we can do is use this to just give them a little bit of a boost. To get them up and running as soon as possible. Battery power there. So they're powered. Then we need to link them up with the motors using a bit of wire. Like so. Then the motors should be powered. And then what we need to do is um, give the motors some kind of signal to move them. Now at this point we want to have um, the covers underneath the frames. Like this. And this way they won't touch anything um, so they can't stick to the wireless blocks. And there's obviously one block missing because this motor's in the way but we can move the whole thing and then put those blocks down. So what we do is we'll put a wireless signal here and give that a remote which will be I don't know, one four thousand and one. And when I use this it should move this. Yes, there we go. So then we can put these covers underneath. Like that. And then the whole thing is now protected. Cool. Now I need to put one on the other side, obviously, so otherwise I can't move it back. Um, so we need a wireless. It's getting dark. Let's put some torches down. Uh, I can. Uh, and this will be 4002. 4002. One, two, three, four, one, two. Good, now I'll move, move it back. Cool. So that's this, uh, the main aiming for the cannon. Good. That works fine. Um, now we need to have somewhere for the tracks to get up there. Now I think this might be in the way, but it might not be, this wire. So we got, we've got some um, panels. I think we could probably do this and then lay rails on top of there. Yeah. Good. Now we'll have to cover the back of this as well. It's going to be a very brightly coloured gun. <laughs> Didn't think about the looks when I chose these colours actually. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Now we can just put a block here, and then the track should go up there. Yeah, we go, and then it should still move. Yep, good, good. And we'll do the same this side. The panel. So the panels are quite a special blocks because they they work with red power. Which means that these red power wires and tubes and stuff, they can occupy the same physical block. As you can see, like the wire and this are in the same block. And all red power stuff kind of works like that. Which is very useful, because it means you can hide pipes and stuff underneath the ground. Now, if we use the these panels on top of this now. Now, panels work with frames in such a way where they anything you put on the panel. You can put like wires and things on the panel and tracks. Like, usually it just blocks, but with the panels down first, you can then put other things on. So I can then put like tracks here. And then when I move it, it moves the tracks. There we go. So that's, um, yeah, there we go. That's our first moving part for the, the, rail, the rail gun. Mark two. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty good. Now, next time we need to add 
the second part, which also moves independently uh, and has the power. So this has the aiming, and then the next part has the power change. Yeah, pretty sweet. Okay, so yeah, until next time, have a good Christmas. Bye.